Now, I actually think that you'll still get this traditional treatment from men, but why would you feel entitled or expect traditional treatment from men when you guys are not traditional women yourselves? That seems like a raw deal for the dude. Well, that's why I don't date. As of right now, I haven't been dating, and that's what I've said the last two podcasts as well. Well, you said you were dating a bit. Well, I think you're just I saying think, that. No, I think I did say that the first one, but I haven't been. You said you went. That. You said you've been on dating apps, and if I recall, one of our previous conversations, you said you actually don't disclose to some of the men you date that you're. I don't an tell escort. guys that right off the bat when I hang out with them. Hey, I'm an escort, but I also don't right off the bat sleep with guys. And I think that I don't need to disclose to everybody that I'm a sex worker for safety reasons, for top one, most importantly. Wouldn't the safe thing to do would be, before you even meet them, say, hey, just letting you know, I do this work. No, because if they still want to date you. No, I don't, but I'm not dating to the intent of marriage. Doesn't matter. Right? Am I using that proper term? You're saying that I'm not dating to date guys. I don't tell them. I don't fuck guys, and I just said 10 seconds ago that I don't. I'm not dating them and fucking them right away. So you've now if I come to that point where we're comfortable enough to where I want to fuck him, then I would disclose that information. So every man you've slept with while doing escorting you've disclosed in each instance that you're an escort to the guys that i've been intimate with recently yes no, i didn't say recently i didn't say recently one hundred dollars you clearly know that your job is affecting your life money is the root of all evils it's not worth it leave stripping go to school and get a job that your kid brother is going to really respect If I recall correctly from your previous previous appearance on the podcast, you said I can't remember. If what I, I recall, said my previous you had sexual encounters with men without disclosing to them that you're also an escort. I can't recall what I said in my last episode. If I recall correctly, right I could now, I could be mistaken, but I'm, I'm pretty you sure right now that mm-hmm. I don't meet guys at a bar or mm-hmm. on dating apps or whatever, and for the first couple hours I'm like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, I'm an escort. Why? Because that's none of their business. For starters, for two, is, I'm not it, I'm what, not about to go and fuck them this same night, this week, or even this month. So you want to trap them no, I into don't liking trap you. Them. No, you don't I'm want just to disclose being casual. you don't right want now, to disclose I'm something. I'm having casual friendships with men and I'm not having casual. sex with guys. I'm you, not dating guys right now. Don't you think your occupation though is important for even if a guy you're just casually seeing and going on dates with is, is an important thing for them to know, even if you're not Do dating you guys with the know that a lot of girls in my line of work get murdered and all types of stuff for just being sex workers. Here's, here's an so idea. So why would I just Here, right off the bat tell a guy that I've only met for two oh hours, God, hey, I'm like, an escort. Holy fuck. Okay. Ryan Falk donated $100. Only a Christian can worship Satan since Satan is a construct of Christianity. All Christians ACK the devil. Laughable. Smigel is my God. Brian, what? you would rather die than be a SSS. Okay, so yeah. Ray by four Russian GIs. That's really sad. Well, okay. no, that, that just to respond to the super chat, that actually doesn't follow. That um, you would have to be a Christian in order to worship Satan. You could worship Satan and uh, still believe in the hierarchical authority of the heavens and not be a Christian. Mm. That there's There's no reason that it necessarily follows one to the other. That's yeah. absurd. Yeah. Okay. C- coming back to the point you just made, you said you don't disclose your work for safety reasons. Now, don't you think it would be safest to like just before you even meet them in no, person? Because if you look at what's happened in the past to girls like that, that's not safe. You don't just go to Walmart and are like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a freaking, I work at Moonlight Bunny. I don't just go around saying that for safety reasons, for stalker reasons, for all types of reasons. You don't know. That's why you carry. The the logic is not. No, it does make sense. Maybe I don't, if I'm going to, if I plan on being intimate with this person or I plan on inviting this person into my home and stuff like that, then on that level, of course, honestly, for I will let them know for your own safety. You're making a massive, just let me finish. Stop, stop. No, let me finish. 
you're making a massive misjudgment when it comes to your safety. If your safety is your primary concern, I would strongly encourage you to, before a guy starts getting emotionally invested in you and you omitting and I'm hiding, not... hold on, stop. You omitting and hiding this thing that could be a major, major deal breaker for him, I would strongly encourage you to disclose before you even meet them, which would be the safest thing. If you just say up front before the guy has an opportunity to meet you in person, but if you like bamboozle a guy, let me hide this away from him, and then he builds a connection with you, I actually think you're putting yourself in much okay, more danger. So are you done? I have a What's question. with the fucking attitude? Because Brian, I literally just said I'm not intending to date. And you keep reiterating the fact that I'm trying to date these boys that I'm meeting at the bar for an hour or two. Like I'm not dating them, therefore I will not be telling you about my occupation. Now as if I'm going to be dating you, I will. There's two differences there, but you keep trying to beat the fact that I'm about to be fucking this guy and that I need to tell him. Of course, of course, I get it. But I'm question. not dating them. I have a question for, um, at what point, like for, would someone in your like line of occupation, what point do you believe would be the best point to tell them? In your opinion, like the safest if I'm, point. If I'm dating them? If you're dating them. I don't know because I haven't gotten there yet. Myself, I have not gotten there yet. Or not for so, yourself, just like for On anybody. a previous podcast, I'm almost certain you said that you've had casual sexual encounters with men and did not disclose your profession as being an escort. Is that true or not true? I literally said I don't know what I said on my past Forget episodes. what you said. What's What actually occurred? Have you had sexual... Have you engaged with men sexually and not disclosed to them that you're an escort? No, I really don't have sex outside of my work life. You said recently. I ever, don't really ever, have sex outside of my work life. Like, you, for real. If I recall the podcast, so, I think you said you did, though. Can I add something? I can only talk about right now and what we're talking you about. You don't right recall now. previous sexual yes. encounters? So, I mean, since you're on the podcast, they're going to know where you're work your line of work is for your safety so i'm just saying the public and how many viewers there are so well i was just kind of well, throwing yeah, that out there they're allowed to know where i work you know what i mean the moonlight bunny ranch is an established legalized brothel but they're gonna know your line of work because you're on the podcast i i oh, know whatever. i've been on this podcast before I was just disclosing if you were for like safety purposes. I mean, you're on a public platform and they're just going to be aware of your line. I, of I understand that, but yeah. I don't just go telling and that's different. But I don't just go having face to face conversations with people that I meet at a hotel lobby or at a bar and be like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm a stripper or Which, by the way, I'm an OnlyFans girl or by the way, I'm an uh, escort. Like, why would I have to say that to somebody that I know that I'm not going to go take upstairs and fuck them in my room? Now, if I was, that's a different story. I'm telling you guys that right now. So, Brian, you getting mad at me and getting upset with me is not kind of cool because I'm literally just telling you, like, right now. It seems like you're and the you're, one who's upset, to be honest. I'm just, I keep reiterating the fact that I'm not trying to date right now because of my line of work. You know what I mean? And then you're like, but if you're going to sleep with guys and you're going to date them, and I'm like, I'm not. I'm so glad I'm not dating donated $100. The FDA needs to get involved with these hoes. Mm. At least I know when I buy ground beef at Costco, I know when the expiration date is and it's not rotten. Let me help you strip a hoe, yes, sir, zip it. <laughs> oh my God. Look, this all stemmed from, you guys all claim you're traditional, like y'all know. You aren't traditional. And I said you're not traditional. You're not traditional. There. You're not traditional. No offense. No offense taken. But do you... <laughs> okay, so you asserted you're traditional. I disagree with you. So fine. are you... Living under score donated $100. Brian, you used to seem a lot happier than you do these days. Is all of this really worth it? This line of work would make any of us cynical. Not judging. Uh, truth be told, actually, the conversations that actually occur at the table pale in comparison to, like all the bullshit behind the scenes like dealing with fucking flakes and all that shit that's the stressor right there is uh bro we we're dealing with like cancellations flakes all that shit that's that for me anyways these conversations look sometimes it's a bit annoying 
the shit behind the scenes, that's the stressor. Yeah, he's really not taking the, the conversations personally. Um, see, I do have a chatter here, though, who did pull the clip from the previous episode and uh -oh. says... A quote, she did say that she slept with men and did not tell them and that she also uses dating apps and doesn't tell the men she's an escort in the dating apps. Well, when I use the dating apps, I don't even go on dates with these guys. Like, I've literally been on one date with a guy and I disclosed to him that I was an escort and we didn't even sleep together. So, and since then I've deleted all the dating apps and I'm not on any dating apps. I mean, And I've been focused, and I've been, the last podcast that I've been on was... I think it was in October but, okay. time frame. But we're, so since I'm looking, then, I've been exclusively... I'm looking in the past. So maybe since then, you've changed shit up. But... <laughs> oh, this fucking girl over here. Hold on. 